Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Question, do you really need to wrap that French drain with fabric? So this is a video, this is a clip from a very long video, but it exposes the truth about fabric. And I would love for you guys, comment all you want, but this is proof about what I've been talking about. Even in the sand, you do not need fabric. Do we wrap it in the sand? Of course we wrap it in the sand. But in the clay, this is the proof, guys. This is the absolute proof. And I'm going to cut open this, this French drain. You'll see all the gravel. You'll see there is fabric on the top, which is what I like to do. We lay fabric on the top of the gravel so that the dirt doesn't drop down in. <laughs> but we do not wrap it. This burrito thing, you know, we eat burritos. And <laughs> this burrito thing, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. And you will see if you're doing this and you don't add a catch basin for some type of surface water collection, you're going to have major problems in the future. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm actually locating the French drain. You can hear the, the drain cleaning machine running in the background and I'm digging down to find the pipe. You can see that fabric. It does run across the top. There's no doubt. But you can see I'm just pulling it off. It does not wrap this system. Let's do a little bit more exploring. we got to get down to the pipe. Very hard to dig through gravel, guys, if you haven't ever dug through gravel. It does take a little bit of effort. But what we need to do is get down to where that pipe is. And I can hear it very... I can hear my cable. It is very strong and loud right here. We're going to keep digging down. And remember, this system, what I'm seeing here is that it's gravel encased, so there's a there's a pipe down here. It's got gravel all, all around it, but it only has fabric on the top. And this is the way I suggest that you do all French drains. Yes, we do wrap our systems in the sand, and that's why I like to use the Easy Flow because it's self-contained. But take a look. Can you see that? See that root system growing into the fabric? a dual, this is PVC, and I can see it, this is a dual wall pipe, it must have holes at the bottom, so somebody listened to my video, <laughs> it's surrounded by gravel, but the fabric is only across the top, and that's the way I suggest that you do these things, you don't need to wrap this, that's such a myth, such a myth, but I would put fabric across the top, because you don't want soil to drop directly down into that gravel. Yeah, I've exposed it, but look how clean the gravel is. I mean, it works great. Okay, pipes exposed. Notice that this is not wrapped with fabric. It's just across the top. So, it would appear that they've got a corrugated pipe right here, and they've connected to a PVC pipe, and you can see, you see the water coming out? See how it's all wet down here? And I feel some holes down here too, so yeah. Let's go ahead and cut this open and take a look. See what's going on right here. So take a look. That pipe's clean, buddy. <laughs> what a myth about having to wrap your system. Somebody called it a burrito. Eat the burrito guys, eat the burrito, but you don't need to wrap your system. I suggest you put fabric across the top because that helps keep the soil from dropping directly down into your stone. But you can see we've got real clean stone, we're in a sand base, and look how clean that pipe is. Look, there's nothing in there, nothing. Okay, so the reason the cable couldn't get through here is this is a turn. So I'm going to bring the machine over here, and we're going to go down, go down this line and make sure that the rest of it's clean. So whether you use Easy Flow or gravel perforated pipe, don't forget, you need a catch basin. That catch basin helps pick up the surface water. As it rains hard, it pours across the ground into the catch basin, and the pipe carries it away. You really shouldn't be concerned about how many holes are in your pipe, you know how fast that pipe can pick up the water guys when it rains hard it's going to fill up that pipe no matter no matter what and it may flood for a few seconds in your yard or moments minutes whatever but it's going to go down you need that catch basin to carry this water away 
If you look at the animation, you'll notice that this is a downspout drain. It moves all the water out to the street or storm. But take a look, everything attaches to this downspout drain, whether it be the channel drain, the storm, the storm drain, your yard drain, everything's attaching to this and it runs out to the street. When it rains hard, you'll notice your catch basins, they may overflow a little bit, but as soon as it stops raining, that water is gone. And whether you have big holes in your pipe or you have slotted pipe, it's not going to make any difference for that groundwater. It will enter the pipe and be carried away. We don't make a big deal about that at all. You know, we know that that water is going to flood. You'll never beat Mother Nature. That's the secret. You will never beat Mother Nature. And you can make your holes as big as you want and talk about that and say, hey, this has got more volume than anybody else. Those things don't matter at all in the French drain. What matters is getting the system in properly with a good discharge. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Don't forget about live help, video consultation via FaceTime or Skype. We can actually do almost any of the video chats, whether it be Messenger, WhatsApp, Viber, there's so many. Um, and with this virus, you know, people would really like to stay distanced. This is a great way to take a look at your problem. We can help with everything from project planning, finding materials, and helping you get that job in correctly.